This morning in the Roadshow Kitchen, we've got a Rhode Island classic on the menu. Chef Dan is here from Twin River, more specifically, Shipyard Pub at Twin River. If you haven't been there yet, it is an awesome place, even the setting of it. Yeah. It's really cool. Yeah, it's kind of an old style theme. It mm -hmm. kind of goes along with all the other shipyard restaurants, too. I uh, love it. And yeah, today so you're making stuffies. Yep, stuffies, classic New England, uh, New England clam style dish. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I mean, who who hasn't heard of stuffies in New England or even Rhode Island? It's kind of just a traditional yeah. thing we do in Rhode Island. <laughs> but maybe they haven't had them like you make them. So take us through the ingredients. Yeah, we kind of have our own our own style. Uh, we start off with the star of the show, which is the the quahogs. Um, oh, yeah. We get about twelve of them for this batch for this recipe. Um, mm -hmm. You want to make sure they're they're really washed off. You get all the sand and grit off of them before you uh, go to go to boil them. Really important. Yeah, yep. you don't want that gritty taste no, in your mouth. of course not, mm -hmm. yeah. And then uh, for our stuffing, we're going to use uh, some Ritz cracker crumbs, which I ran through a food processor, um, some some regular bread crumbs. It's just white bread. You can use anything you have in the kitchen. There's nothing particular, no particular brand, whatever white bread you have laying around. Yeah, good for leftover bread. Yeah, whatever yep. you got. Yep. Um, and we have some chorizo, which uh, adds some spice to the stuffing. Um, you, we want to throw it on the grill to add some char to it. We do that just mm -hmm. to give it a little smokiness, bring out the smokiness in chorizo. Uh, some butter. Uh, I have some diced onion, some diced pepper, um, red red bell pepper and uh, green bell pepper, um, shredded Parmesan cheese, wow. five cloves of garlic for this recipe, uh, some some parsley uh, chopped real fine, and some black pepper is going to go into it as well. This sounds like a good one, and I love that combination once you get that chorizo in there. Just yeah. to, it gives it a nice little kick, but yeah. nothing... That you can't handle. Yeah, it's nothing crazy, but some people like to throw some Tabasco, some paprika on at the end if they right. want the spiciness. So. Yeah, you can jazz it up to your liking. All right, All we've right. got everything we need. We'll get cooking in just a bit. Welcome back, everybody, here in the Roadshow Kitchen with Chef Dan DiPietro. He is from Shipyard Pub, one of my favorite places, at oh, yeah. one of my favorite places, Twin River. How you doing, buddy? Not bad. How are you? Good. You are hard at work in here, and if you missed the first segment, what the heck? But it's still great to have you here now. We're making uh, stuffies, uh, a yep. Rhode Island a seafood classic. Yep, absolutely. Stuffed quahogs. Um, we actually just got done boiling the clams. Uh, we boiled them for about 10 minutes, okay. and, uh, and uh, we mixed it with about a quart of water and some garlic. Um, after we got done boiling them, we pulled them out of the water, and I actually uh, removed the meat from the clams. You don't mean out of the actual bay. You mean out of the water here. Yeah, right, <laughs> out of the boiling water. Uh, I mean, if you want to go to the bay and, and take them, that's your style, go for it. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. But, um, Absolutely. So we're going to start working towards cooking for our stuffing. Okay. So we're gonna, just going to saute our, our onions up in some butter. And are these stuffies regularly on the menu up there at the Shipyard Pub? Um, no, but we're going to be running them uh, coming up pretty soon. Okay. Um, but usually usually we just uh, we, we kind of try and stay seasonal, but right. we do have specials that are, are constantly changing every fantastic, three months. So. Fantastic, fantastic. I love yeah. that sizzling sound. What are you doing next? Yeah, so we're just going to we're going to saute these onions up until they're nice and nice and tender. And then once they get softened up, we're going to add our uh, our green bell pepper. How do you know when pepper. it's time? How do you know when they're soft? Uh, when they start to brown over a, a little bit, they'll be they'll be ready to go. Uh, we just want to you just want to make sure that they're nice and tender before you want to kind of get all the flavor out of the butter. You're not trying to to really cook them. You're just trying to get the flavor out of them. You don't you don't want to set it to high and, and flash fry all of them. You're just fine. That's why we have you here to lead a guy like me who doesn't know anything about this stuff. Right. Well, I'm, ha I'm happy to teach. But I'm here to learn. So we're just gonna. Throw in our peppers now that our onions are starting to tenderize. Can I dump something in? Absolutely. If you oh, want to throw the chorizo in for oh. me as well, the, the garlic thing's will be... all going in. <laughs> yep, yep. It's all going in. Yeah, right. it looks, I pay close looks like a lot, but it'll it'll definitely mix it up. So like uh, your special student who's going to stay <laughs> after class. Yep. <laughs> if, if you want to throw in the garlic too, you can uh, throw that in there. All that's, going in. Yep. That's actually two of the garlic cloves that we had uh, boiling with the clams. Okay. So come on, uh, jump. I also want to you. note that when we when we were cooking the clams, we took some of the uh, some of the clam stock out to, to use to soften up our stuffing later on. Outstanding. Well, it's already uh, starting to smell quite alluring, if I do say so myself. <laughs> we'll we'll continue great. to follow your lead. This is Chef Dan DiPietro from Shipyard Pub at Twin River. Much more from him in a bit. For now, back to you. We are back in the kitchen this morning, thanks to Twin River for bringing in Shipyard Pub. Chef Dan is here. We're making stuffies. You know what? I don't care what month it is. You can have stuffies all year round, right? Absolutely. I mean, we, we prefer them during the summer, but who well, cares? Who we can we can yeah. even in the winter, yeah. spring doesn't matter. But you know what? It kind of puts us in that summer frame of mind a little bit. It does. It's a good thing. It definitely does. You know, you want to start hitting the beach. 
Um, mm -hmm. So we were just we were just making our, our, our the hot part of our stuffing that we were going to cook. Now we're going to kind of just mix everything up. Okay. If you want to, uh, now you the have tasked me with putting all of this in there. Yep. Those if you want technical terms, <laughs> all of this goes in there. Here we go. Yeah. If you just want to throw it in. Uh, all right. And you you guys can chat. I'll be over here. And what is he adding right now? Uh, that's basically just the the minced clams, um, mm -hmm. the the the, sh the the chorizo that we cooked up. Um, He's gonna put the parsley, the breadcrumbs, and the Ritz cracker crumbs in there. Um, and we're also gonna use some clam broth that we actually boiled the clams in. And nice. that's gonna soften up the whole mixture at the end. I like that um, you don't let that go to waste. You no, we, we the... yep, we use try and use everything. We also use the garlic. Um, and then you can just take some of the- No, I'm done, I'm punching out. That's it, you're all done? <laughs> at... <laughs> Maybe I'll get in there. No problem. I don't have my gloves on. No, I, uh, yeah, you know what, That's that helps, but um, the- uh, Basically, we're just gonna I'll take why I just <laughs> take a half a lemon, squeeze it in there. There we go. Uh, we want to, you know, have some kind of sifter or something to make sure none of the seeds get mm -hmm. get into our, our yeah, mix. Yeah, you don't want to take a you bite and have a big crunch of that seed in you there. You're so let's let's. <laughs> I wasn't, Kayla's but there I'll go out. for it. And let's talk about the fact, you know, as Michaela works so effortlessly over there, she always makes it look so easy. Call Hug Week coming up. Yeah. The week of March 20th. Yep. A tremendous uh, week. What do we need to know? Uh, we're going to be having this recipe showcased at the shipyard on the second floor of Twin River. Um, we'll be having the call hogs from the March 20th to March 25th, the right. soft call hogs. Um, not only that, um, we have the craft beer and wine festival coming up on March 25th. Right. Um, that's going to be hosted by Gasparos. Uh, a lot of people are familiar with them. Yeah. Um, yeah. Luciano from Trattoria and uh, Joe Zito is going to be there too. Oh, the well, TV we know Joe Zito. <laughs> yes. He's um, everywhere. Yeah, so 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 we're just going to mix the stuffing now. You want to make sure it's all nicely incorporated. Mm -hmm. um, I'll tell you something, though. That Call Hog Week is a terrific endeavor because a lot of us don't realize just how vital that whole industry is to our state and the rich history that it possesses as well. Right. I mean, Rhode Island is uh, responsible for a quarter of the annual uh, right. Call Hog harvest every year. So, um, so yeah, it's, it's a huge part of the food service economy. Mm -hmm. I mean, and we got to support it. So... Cool. Um, so we're just gonna soften the mixture up so that yes. you know we can actually get it inside the, the clams and. And uh, Sh Shipyard Pub is a great spot situated right there on the second level, I believe. Yeah. Centrally located. It, I like that yeah. it's a little secluded yeah. too. You don't feel like you're on top of a slot machine. Yeah, I know. That's right. it's, it's not in the middle of anything crazy. It's a nice, comfortable spot. You can go eat, get some drinks. There's a bunch of TVs. You can, you know, it's a really nice atmosphere. I had a lovely dinner there before Huey Lewis last oh, year. Oh yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was fantastic. Yeah, Cap off the, your whole evening. The heart of rock yep. and roll was beaten in Lincoln. Yeah, on the weekends they have live music too. I mean, if uh, so, I mean, you have local seafood. Uh, you know, you, we have specials always changing. If you if if, if you want to stop by and join the music and you know mm -hmm. it's great food, it's definitely the place to go. I think I'm um, overflowing these. Are they too no, full? That, that's perfect. Well, oh, that's, that's that's perspective. Yeah, they it's, won't it's, really expand. It's a matter of per opinion. I, I don't think. Uh, I mean, some some people could say they could never have enough. You know, so these Just are. Form it to the. I these, would say keep going. It looks <laughs> awesome. <laughs> these look great. So we're just gonna actually throw these right in the oven. Okay. And we're gonna want to top them with some uh, some Parmesan cheese. There you are. Ooh, yum. So that's just going to go right on top to add a nice yeah. little crunch crisp to it. A couple of cold ones right here, a couple of pints would go really well, nice. Yeah, and that's what's great. I mean, you you guys obviously cook delicious food, but food that pairs well with right. the drafts and things that you yeah. guys have at Shipyard. Yeah, everything goes, it's, everything's very locally themed. We want, mm -hmm. you know, the, the beers to, to be local, the, the, the ingredients to be local if we can. Right. Um, so we had some of these already made up. Oh, man. And uh, just going to... That's basically our finished product. Wow. Because look how great that looks. Isn't that nice with even with the, the cheese just topped? Yeah, yeah, you just the cheese to just give it a nice little mm -hmm. crust on top and uh it's it's an it's an excellent dish and like I said we're gonna be we're gonna have it at shipyard, you know, the whole mm -hmm. week of Rhode Island and Quaho week, so how long do, will they bake for? About fifteen minutes in in the oven at three hundred and seventy five degrees. Just um, enough to kinda get that little kind of crunchy yeah, exterior. I, yeah, around when uh you pull the clams out of the oven, it's a great time to preheat the oven. Uh pull the clams out of the water, it's a great time to preheat the oven. Yeah. Uh, just so it's ready. So as soon as you get them stuffed up, you can throw them in the oven. Awesome. Be efficient, Start which digging is great. In. Yeah, you um, have the fork. Go ahead. Send it this way. All right. Well, then you can, you know, wrap give it, up it a here. try. I got right this, friend. Oh, if you want oh. this recipe, it's a classic. You're gonna want it. Head on over to Roadshow.com. Dive in there, Brendan. Thanks.